From a 602-foot-long noodle to a prehistoric maid of honor, we've got the news stories that'll make you shout, yabba dabba, I do, on a little segment that we call, In Case You Missed It. Well, American Airlines recently raised the bar on service animals when they welcomed a horse on a commercial flight. A horse. Now, it was a mini horse, but that's kind of like a mini bowl of ice cream. There's no such thing as a small serving. Now, before you think I'm just horsing around, <laughs> or that I'm trying to stir up trouble, Please know that this is a legitimate story about American Airlines hospitality. <laughs> the mini horse's name is Flirty, and the horse helps owner Abria Hensley with medical alerts and mobility assistance. Now, while easing tension for Ms. Hensley, Flirty did raise a few eyebrows, including those of passenger Evan Nowak, who was entertained by the idea and shared a video of the horse during flight. Why, even the flight crew made sure to get a picture with Flirty who you can follow on Twitter, by the way, at Flirty, the S-H. I guess for small horse, I don't know what S-H stands for. <laughs> but for those who are naysayers about many horses in flight, be assured that the Department of Transportation, Transportation does allow four-legged friends like Flirty, as well as dogs who meet the ADA requirements. They can all be service animals. So if Flirty keeps flying with Ms. Hensley, the horse could end up the first literal globe trotter <laughs> in history. Now, I was going to push this whole story and tell you that Flirty has a sandwich made with thoroughbred <laughs> and that Flirty watched Fiddler on the Hoof during the flight, but there's no way I would ever use a pun that low. I just... No. Well, a Japanese chef prepared a record-setting egg noodle, breaking a Guinness World Record, not to mention a few eggs in the process. Hiroshi Kuroda said he soaked the noodle in sesame oil, tossed the noodle for nearly an hour before his assistants used ice to cool it. Then they stretched it out to measure it. Uh, Governor? Yes? Do you know what you call a fake noodle? What you call a fake noodle? I don't guess I know that, Keith. An impasta. You get it? An impasta? Yeah. That's as good as some of yours. I'm... But that ain't saying much, Keith. That's <laughs> the bad part. I keep warning you that you're going to get arrested for impersonating a comedian. Yeah. You've got to watch it. It's coming. I guess all I can do is quote the Italian Terminator, Pasta la vista, baby. <laughs> and by the way, folks, the noodle's length was 602 feet and 9 inches long. Which, by the way, that is longer than the height of the Washington Monument. That is one major noodle, I'll tell you. All right, well, what's better than driving your car? How about driving your car with another car on your roof? A driver in England was stopped and fined for transporting another car by balancing it on the top of his car. Now, he was only moving the other car a short distance in an industrial location, but he still got points on his record and $237 in fines and court costs. Even if the officer doesn't dance, I guess you could still say he busted a move. <laughs> so what's the difference between a golf ball and this guy's antics? Well, you can drive a golf ball farther than he drove before he was ticketed. Yeah. All right, look, the guy's actually lucky he didn't have his guitar in there, because then if he had an accident, that would have been a fender bender. <laughs> Who writes this stuff? <laughs> I take no responsibility for it, none. And finally, the perfect wedding always includes the right bridal gown and dresses for the wedding party, but what about something a little more memorable for the maid of honor, like an inflatable T-Rex costume? That's exactly what Christina Metter wore at her sister Deanna wedding, uh, Adams' recent wedding. And here's what she had to say about the prehistoric fashion decision. I quote, Knowing that I'm not a big fan of wearing formal dresses and that I probably wouldn't have a lot of money to buy something really nice, 
My sister reassured me by letting me know that I could pick out any outfit that I choose. So if I'm spending more than 50 bucks, I want it to be a dinosaur costume because they're fantastic and I've always wanted one. So the picture of Deanna, her new hubby, and T-Rex maid of honor, Christina, with her bouquet has made the rounds on social media. Metter did say she bought a proper dress to possibly wear on the big day, but fate intervened. She lost weight before the wedding and the dress was too big, but not her dinosaur costume. <laughs> and so with her sister's blessing, the cheeky maid of honor slipped into the inflatable T-Rex for the outdoor summer ceremony and she never looked back. Now, while social media critics have gone after Christina saying she made a joke of the wedding, her big sister bride has stood right up for her and said, it's not a joke, it's just a giant middle finger at spending thousands of dollars and putting ungodly amounts of pressure on ourselves just to please a bunch of people who in the end only want free food and drinks. <laughs> she says, my sister is awesome. And I genuinely was not kidding when I said she could wear whatever she wanted. Obviously, she wasn't kidding because she wore that. <laughs> Christina, I want you to know that I'm with your decision 100%. I mean, some critics may have deemed you a Tyrannosaurus wreck. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus wreck for wearing what you did. But believe me, your outfit was no eyesore. <laughs> and at the very least, you were no dino bore. In fact, I always say Jurassic times call for Jurassic measures. And finally, and boy, do I mean finally, I wish your sister and her husband a long and blessed marriage and may they never ever become a Tyrannosaurus X. Well, just like the dinosaurs, we have run out of time and I know you're happy to hear that, but never forget, we read the news. So now, if you want more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. And if you leave a comment, positive or negative, I'll be sure that my dog Toby sees it and responds to you in kind. <laughs>